What's up, guys? Um, as you know, I recently, at, well, probably, you probably may know or not know, but oh well. But um, recently I have took a bunch of songs that I myself have uh, recorded in the garage. Um, they're not really songs, just me kind of jamming out with my new guitar that I got. And uh, upload them on YouTube. I have them on my playlist. And the, um, on my profile, so if you want to go check it out, you can. It's called Finger Down Your Throat LP. That's all six or seven of them, of the songs that I did in the garage. Yeah, so, um, right now I'm going to try to talk about each one. And I'm trying to use rough memory from where one is. But anyway, um. So, the song entitled Intro is just that, it's an intro. I have no clue how it goes again. Then the second song after that is called, like, The Happy Giant or something like that. I don't know, when I was listening to it, because I listened to each song. Kind of, like, piece and name together in my head. It kind of had a... The only thing I could imagine in my head was a happy giant running through a field or whatever. But then falling and then dying. Yeah, pretty dark, huh? And the third song, it's like a weird C name, I think, if I'm correct. The third song is like a weird C name. But it is about, because when I was listening to it, I thought about the dinosaurs. But I didn't want to call it the dinosaur, because that sounds like a dumb name. So I looked up on the internet, what what's the name of the meteor that destroyed the dinosaurs? Because, you know, there was a giant meteor and went, shh, wah, you know, killed a bunch of dinosaurs or whatever. And in Mexico, there's a crater, and it's that, it starts with that name. It's, like, called the Chianox Crater. I, I can't think of how to say it. And then the fourth song I did, I'm not really sure... Oh, yeah, I think it's called Days Left Out in the Sun or something like that. I, I don't know. It had a very deserty vibe to me. And all I could imagine was a guy sitting in the desert, slowly going thirsty or starving to death in the desert. Days Left Out in the Sun, you know. And then I did a cover of Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Um, It was just me playing the guitar out there with it. And... It's been a while since I've heard this song, so I probably got some of the riffs kind of confused. I couldn't remember how the song was structured again, so I might have accidentally, I don't know, put a wrong riff here, a wrong riff there. And then there's a guitar solo I did, kind of, I made up sort of on the spot, because I have no clue how a solo goes. And then the last song is called Death's Final Bow or something like that. I... Before recording that, I decided to grab out what my dad calls a stomp box. It's just a box which has a bunch of, like, pedal effects and whatnot in it. Like, a digital box where you can switch through and it gives your guitar different effects. And I found one, then I found, I found one on there that I thought sounded nice. And I sort of played around with the beginning riff, you know, that weird, you know. I can't, I can't think of how it goes, but I know what it sounds like, but I can't think how it goes. And I sort of built up from there, and I kind of had that whole song kind of structured already before playing it, so it kind of in a sense is um, a thought-out song. But um, yeah, that's, that's all I really can say about it. I, I just felt like doing it. I got this guitar from Ross's... I don't know how to say that. An odd stern? I, I don't know how to say that. I put new strings on here last night, and I now have a size 9s on these now, and they're much more comfortable to play. You know, I likes it when I bend that G string like that. So yeah, that's really all that I can say about that album. Album. Um, I guess goodbye now.